Hey guys, it's me, Tim here. I'm back with another custom LEGO Star Wars Battlefront 2 um, set review. This is my fourth wave, I want to say. And yeah, so this is the fourth and last set of this wave, and it is the Separatist Dreadnought, which I have the Republic um, capital ship, you know, the um, Venator. But yes, this has eight eight characters I believe, so we have Ventress, because hopefully she'll be in the game by then, and I have General Kenobi, then I have my personal favorite skin, and a skin that I use for my heavy, this is the 501st heavy, and yeah, he has a um, mobile, mobile sentry, and then I decided to make a 501st arc trooper, so yeah, it's kind of bad blue on the helmet, but I just did it. Um, there's a Assault 501st Trooper, and he has an Acid Launcher, and it's a, a Phase 1 version. And then we have the Coruscant Guard, and this is the so, um, the Specialist version, and he has a, a Stinger Pistol. And then we also have a Battle Droid. And something that we finally are getting in the game, a droidica. And this is my version, which can can roll up, basically. And you can make it roll and all that. And so, yeah, there's three legs, obviously. And for the guns, I use Star Wars pistols, because I think they actually work pretty well. And, yeah, so then... <laughs> So then for this Separatist Dreadnought, it has this thing up here, and then this thing down here, which this is actually mainly just the back stand, and then I'll show you all the underside. Here's what it looks like. And yeah, this was at the time after I made my Venator, which there's the Venator, after I made all, all these things. Um, I actually did not have that many of my, all of my useful parts went into the Venator. And so, add work with what I had. I decided to make entrances here because it would come with many versions of the, which actually has many versions of the gunship and, and the droid gunship thing are actually inside the Venator. But, so this is the first section after you board and you can move that. And this is basically, I kind of tried to make, represent, re recreate the layout of the end game ship. So you gotta go up here. Um, so yeah, this is this part. The hangers are right there for this. Uh, these two bridges, and then for back here, you just take off this entire thing. One sec. It's actually a bit back heavy, but so yeah, this comes off. Okay, come on. Where's the rest of it? There. So yeah, you can see that here, this here. So yeah, and then this comes off. So yeah, there's that center part there, but then you gotta get to the door controls, which probably be around here. And then there's the erection. No, I think I made them here, I guess. And then there's this area. Obviously, you cannot really fit in any figures with the top on. But so yeah, you go up here, go down here into the generator. And then the last one I had it where you push down on something and it pops them out. And for this one. Have it where you remove that and then that falls. Kind of like the tractor beam in one, in one of the Death Stars. I think it's actually both of the Death Stars might have it. You just pull it back up. Push that back in. So yeah. And this was very difficult to make to where it would also work with the roof part. But yeah. And. Um, so now I have both of the capital ships. It's actually, it, it's, it looks pretty good for the parts I had. And we'll put it next to this. They're almost the exact same length. I think, yeah, this is just a little shorter, but. So, yeah. And then, as I said, for this one, it, if you push down those Technic parts right here, it would pop up part of that. But So, yeah. And actually, the little ships I was telling you all about were these and these. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.